Hello everybody, we are back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild and today we are going to be taking on some Rocky Mountain Elk with the 308. This will be the first time that I have used the 308 AR against the uh, Rocky Mountain Elk grind. Uh, well, I have used it on a few elk, but not that many, so I figured today we would actually take this thing out and uh, just see how it matches up against other rifles when it comes to taking down elk. Because uh, Rocky Mountain Elk are probably one of my favorite uh, species on Silver Ridge Peaks and if I could find this one again we would take him out but I have no idea where he went. There he is. It really threw me off with those branches kind of like screwing up the light. But uh, let's go ahead and get a shot into that guy. I'm really curious how quickly it will take them down with a quartering angle and it honestly does pretty good. Uh, one more just for good measure and uh, that should be a dead elk. There is our elk right here. I am very curious whether or not we got double lung. I think, wow, okay, so it wasn't double lung, it was left lung liver. I was going to say with that angle, I don't think it would have got it, but you never know, there is always the chance, and uh, yeah, this guy did not quite get that uh, double lung, unfortunately, but honestly, I will take it. I think that did pretty decent for the angle that we had. Um, <laughs> what am I looking at? I, I don't exactly know what to make of this. These Plains Bison have a very interesting feeding animation. Um, is this normal? Is this what they've always done? They're kind of like inching forward a little bit. That is just very odd. Something tells me that that has to be new animations. Uh, that doesn't look like anything I remember from the past with these guys. That's, that's just so strange. But uh, one thing that's not strange is that elk right there. That is a very good looking rocky elk. 396 to 483 on the estimate. That's got a good chance of being towards the high end of the estimate. Uh, definitely not going to be a diamond, but a very good looking elk for sure. Let's try to get a shot in there from far away. And that one as well. I think those should have both been good. Uh, they just went out of render, so... It was definitely a very long shot, but we also have a very nice, well, I guess interesting is more the word. Rocky Mountain Elk over here, level one, uh, not nearly as small as they can get, but it's always interesting to find a level one regardless. So let's, um, let's, let, let's shoot again until we hit it. There we go. And unfortunately we got to reload and can't get the final one. Uh, but we did get a shot into this guy. Sadly, it doesn't look like we hit vitals. Uh, one of those had to be good. It should go down. Well, let's see if we can get this guy down since he is just going to run in circles. And that looked to be two solid hits on that elk right there. Uh, there sometimes is some down here. I don't know if there will be this time around, but it's always worth a check. Well, there's our level one. That is uh, quite the tiny elk. My gosh, that is just ridiculously small. 116.10, this would have been a silver, or no, it actually would have just been a bronze, wow. That's crazy. Quite the small elk indeed, and that is a very strange looking uh, configuration as well on these antlers. This one kind of like bends down and out to the side, and this one bends up and hooks in. Very odd combination of antlers. Okay, so that is the level 3 that we shot. Uh, I believe it was the second one that we shot here. It definitely did not get hit very well. So let's get a couple more shots into it just to seal the deal. And that uh, should take it down. I don't see any way that that wouldn't have taken it down, so I think we should be okay. Well, here is one of the elk. I believe this is the larger one. Oh yeah, this is definitely the nice 4. Let's go ahead and pick that guy up. 409 gold. What a beauty. We just barely hit that shot 400.49 meters away. That is just incredible. Quite impressive range on that 308. And that is a wide boy. Oh my gosh, that is a wide elk. I don't know if I've ever killed a elk that was not a diamond that was this wide. That is just absolutely insane. The width on those antlers. Absolutely crazy. So I actually don't know if this video is going to uh, be as long as one of the normal videos. I honestly have no clue at the moment. I'm kind of doing this video last second because I've been pretty busy throughout the day and 
forgot that I actually needed to get a video prepared for, uh, well, by the time this goes live, it'll be today. But I don't have a video ready at the moment, so I'm recording last second. Hopefully this video doesn't seem too rushed or, uh, go much shorter than what I normally would do. We're just gonna hunt around for some elk and hope that we can find ourselves some cool trophies. Either find some cool trophies or just have some cool shots with the 308, which is kind of why I chose using the 308 on these things since we haven't really done a lot of that. Okay, so I stand incredibly corrected right here. It says tracking prey, which means those two shots did not kill it. That blows my mind that that elk survived three shots and is still alive running around. I think at this point we should probably just move on to another elk and see if we have better luck with that. You know, I figure that since this is kind of a last minute video, I might as well do something a little bit different than what we would typically do. Um, I'm gonna go up on this hillside and we're gonna try and snipe down on some of these elk that are at this lake. Uh, for those of you that don't know where this is, it's down here at the bottom left corner of the map. Uh, this area is actually pretty great for elk and mountain lion. And uh, that right there is a few bull elk as well. And what is it with the tiny elk today? We are just finding the absolute smallest elk that we possibly could. But I think we could possibly get one of these. However, they're just not really cooperating. Uh, let's see if we can find a bull in these. But it's looking like it's just the females that stayed behind, which is a little bit unfortunate. I was hoping that one of the bulls would stay behind, but they just did not want to. Actually, there we go. We finally have some coming in. You know, this might actually be a cool place to set up like a tree stand if... Eh, never mind. These trees would not be able to hold one, I don't think. But it would be cool if they could. But let's go ahead and try to get that guy down for sure, and then maybe one of the others if possible. But this guy is definitely going to be our main target since he is a level 4. Here we go. Here is our chance. Let's do our best to try and get this right into the lung and not hit the spine. Alright, we definitely got both of them. Question is, was the second shot good? It doesn't look like it. That should help though. Well, that is one of our bulls right there, 324 meters away. I believe that is the one that we had to shoot a few times. Uh, that is a level 3 that we never took a shot at, so I think we're going to try and get this guy next. He's uh, quite a ways off, but I think we should be able to make this shot. Uh, let's just hope he gives us a good angle, because he is being a little bit stubborn. And I think this is probably going to be the best chance we'll get, unfortunately. It's not a very ideal angle, but... We will uh, do what we can. There he is, right there. Let's see if we can get a lung shot. He is giving us kind of a very rough angle. You know what, maybe. Oh, he moved just a little bit at the end, but I think the second shot might have saved that. No, but the third one definitely did get into a lung. And you know what, one more for good measure. Oh wow, there is just a bunch of them running below us. You know, let's see if we can iron sight a few of these since they are so close. Oh my gosh, that was actually pretty cool. I gotta say, I actually kind of liked doing that. Oh my gosh. We're actually hitting a lot more of these than I expected to and that just finished off that one. You know, these zones are going to be absolutely toasted, but I think it's totally worth it because this has actually been kind of fun to do. You know, I don't know why I didn't think of this before, but we really should have been shooting them from up here in the tower. So I think... Wait, can we actually get up on top? We might be able to. Oh, we definitely can. We definitely can do this. Hold on. I think we might have discovered something. Let's see if we can jump up on top of the roof. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> well, I didn't expect that to happen. But, uh, something tells me I deserved it. Well, it would seem that I was completely wrong about which elk this was. It seems the one that we saw off in the distance was actually the level 4 and I ended up screwing up the shot completely. I don't know how we ended up hitting non-vital organs. I could have swore we aimed perfectly to where it would hit the lung, but 
Sure enough, we hit stomach. I guess it was moving a little bit quicker than I anticipated it to be uh, moving, but 389 is still a very solid bowl. It's just unfortunate that we got stomach shot instead of a vital hit. It is what it is, though. We got a couple more to claim, so let's go ahead and do that. Well, there is the other one that we shot next to that level 4. Uh, this guy ran much farther. Uh, I believe this was a level 3, and we did end up getting stomach and intestines in stomach. Okay, so maybe this was a different one. No, this had to be it. So we hit both of them in the stomach, except we hit this guy a second time, and it somehow ran farther. I'm kind of confused how that's a thing, but... I mean, it, it makes it interesting, I guess. It, it's just so weird that it ran farther than our level 4. But I guess that's kind of called the wild. It's, it makes no sense sometimes, but we still love the game. Well, we may not have been getting anything crazy today, but a couple days ago we did get one of the craziest Rocky Mountain Elk kills that I think I've ever had in this entire game. And honestly, it was one of the most insane heart-pounding moments I've had in Call of the Wild. I think even more than the Great One, which may sound crazy, considering the Great One is like the goal of most people, but this was something that I've had a much longer history with, I believe, and I just really, really wanted to get one of them, and we finally did manage to seal the deal on an albino Rocky Mountain Elk. Ah! Oh my gosh! There it is! Oh my gosh! Get back here! Come back here! Hold on! Oh my gosh! Finally! Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh! Ah! <laughs> get over there! Quick, run! <laughs> Oh my gosh, we found it! Oh my gosh, we finally found it! Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh, my heart. Woo! Oh my gosh, my heart is going a million miles an hour. Oh my gosh. Whew. Are you kidding me? We finally! Oh my gosh! <laughs> I don't know what to say. I can't believe we found that finally. I've never had one And it's been like what almost two years since SRP released and it's something I've wanted ever since then. Oh My gosh Wow That's crazy That is crazy. I Still can't believe that Luke. Thank you so much for the super chat dude. Really appreciate it. Oh gosh bear Don't run me over I swear if they start running me over. <laughs> I've been playing Call of the Wild since it released back in 2017. I'm not even going to take screenshots. I'm just going to claim it. Albino. 371 Rocky Mountain Elk. Oh my gosh. This is one of my dream trophies on SRP. We finally have sealed the deal on one of these big boys. Let's go, guys. That's a good one to get as well. Like, this is a super... Super good score for an albino. Let's get as many screenshots as we can. My game is lagging now, so I'm hoping that we don't end up crashing or anything weird like that. That's amazing looking. Yeah, it's a level four. I can't believe that. That's a solid like 20.3 points above gold. I, I can't believe we managed to seal the deal on one of these. Sadly, his head is like down when I took the shot, so it's hard to get a good look at him in the kill screen, but uh, You guys have no idea how good it feels to get this grind over and it's such an un unexpected time We were just doing you know some challenge or not really challenges But just hunting species that you guys voted for and it got us an albino rocky elk that I've been chasing for two years Or al almost two years since the release of SRP pretty much that's that's so crazy and it looks like we got a relatively perfect shot. I was hoping it would be a little bit more down We were getting a little bit close to the spine, but I think overall that was good Wow <laughs> Oh my gosh It's crazy to think that what started as just a day to kind of mess around on stream and let you guys vote on what I would go out and hunt turned into a chase for one of the trophies I've been after ever since Silver Ridge Peaks came out and that guy is right here 
quite the stunning Rocky Mountain Elk Bull and honestly a pretty amazing score as well I'm so happy that it made gold it absolutely made my day to see this thing run across the screen and Man, it's just so nice to finally have it in the lodge, and I think it looks really good on this mount right here. It's kind of right in the corner with some of our other albinos. Originally, I did want to put it out here in the front, but I found that it just did not fit with the reindeer, so I decided to move my uh, super rare caribou up here instead and put that guy in the back where the caribou used to be. And I gotta say, this is probably one of my favorite additions to this lodge in over a year. Even more than any of the great ones, I have just always wanted one of these and the fact that we finally have one and it's also a really good looking one it just absolutely made my day and I'm so happy to have it in here but we're gonna go ahead and end the video there I hope you guys enjoyed this one if you guys are brand new to the channel be sure to subscribe click that like button and ring that notification bell so that you guys will never miss any of the future uploads also be sure to leave a comment down below on what you guys thought of this trophy and if you guys have ever killed one yourself I'll try to respond to as many of them as I can, so be sure to drop them down below. But with that being said, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you all in the next video. Peace!